All right, we're here with Beth Alford Sullivan, uh, director of Nittany Line Track and Field, following the Penn State relays this afternoon. Uh, I guess the first performance to talk about was Kaz Loxham in the 500 meters, setting new school facility and meet records. So, yeah. how, how did everything look on the men's side overall? You know, our men were outstanding. You know, I think it's a, this is a, it was a great day today. We honored our teams from the 42, 47, and 1950 um, national championship teams. And so we had a, a dozen or so guys from that era back in town this weekend. Um, we had a banner dropping, and we, you know, really just celebrated a lot of our men's history. And we had a tremendous teams back then and tremendous success. And so, you know, that kind of started the day. And then we went on and, and just started competing. Our guys came out in the preseason rankings very, very high. We have everybody back from last year's indoor nationals, from last year's team. Um, I have been saying it for a year now. I think we're really, really good, and our guys started it up that way. And you know, Kaz was one of those. Um, you know, Coach Gondak was a little worried about opening up, trying to set a school record in his first race of the year. Um, but this is a kid that ended the, ended his last track season second in the world. So you know, he wanted to run, wanted to run big, and, and easily broke our school record and the facility record. And I think one of the top times for 500 maybe ever run so you know that sets a little bit of a tone you got the guys for that are in their 80s here to watch and and uh, you got the young kid that sets a new record like that you know so that set the tone and we just filled it out really well our, our shot put and weight throw went great we had a lot of guys throwing big there um, you know some good middle distance on the track we kind of rested our distance runners this weekend but then you throw in you know great pole vaulting and um, you know I have to say it, you know, just an outstanding high jump for us. So, you know, it was one of those days where it was a, a super opener for the men, and I think Kaz and, uh, you know, we topped it off with a good 4x4, four four, probably one of the better we've run um, in the last couple of years. So, you know, I can keep going, but uh, in general we had just a great first day of the year. So you mentioned the, the preseason rankings. The men, of course, are ranked eighth. What's, what's that like as a head coach to, to go into a season with that high of a ranking? Well, you know, I think it's good for where we are on our men's program. Um, we we believe we're good this year, and um, to keep kind of having the reinforcement of other people believing that the rankings coming out that way, um, a lot of momentum being here at home. You know, I think I think it's good for us to get a preseason ranking that big. I don't know. You know, we might slip and slide. Others may come in. You can't control rankings, and rankings are really just, you know you know, ink on paper, they're not any kind of result. But for us to get a little bit of pressure on us early and uh, have some high expectations, it reinforces what we have of ourselves this year. So we're excited. So on the women's side, the women coming into the season ranked 19th overall, had some some ups today, like the women's 4x4 set a meet record, a couple of, a couple of good wins, like out of freshman Marlene Ricketts in the triple jump. What were your thoughts on the women's results today? You know, our, our women are really good. Our women have a thread through the entire program of um, when we hit our stride, so to speak, when it's not early season, January 8th, but when it's January 28th or February 28th, I think we're really going to be good. Um, you know, we have a lot, a lot of experience and new talent. Um, you know, we saw the, the debut of Mahogany Jones today who, you know, I think uh, had a couple runner-up finishes and, and just ran tremendously and, and then split a great leg in the 4x4 four four and one of our teams in the 4x4. Four four. Um, you've got other performances, Katie Wolf, um, you know, another freshman that did, did some great stuff and just kind of all in like you already mentioned Marlene uh, winning in the triple jump and you know a lot of stuff for for as hard a week as we had training and for as much emphasis as we have on and kind of a target on our back to not only come into the Big Ten expecting to win but also continue the the podium drive at the national championships our women are, are good we felt very very confident in what we saw today and we'll fill the team out as we go over the next few weeks of course, the next meetup is January the 15th with the Nittany Lion Challenge, and we'll welcome the top-ranked Florida Gators on the men's side and a very, very good Florida women's team. How do you prepare a team to, for competition like that so early in the season? Well, you know, I think we take it one day at a time. We had a good start today, um, and I think that we all recognize that the level of competition is going to step up quite a bit in a week's time. Um, but, I, you know, honestly, our, our team has had so much exposure to high-level competition. Our, our athletes, you know, we had well over a dozen, um, you know, at the national championships, in the finals at the national championships last year. I think we've got a lot of caliber kids with experience, and, um, you know, you really can't go backwards. Once you're there you want that level of competition I know our coaching staff does and I know we're looking forward to having Florida in I'm sure it's early I'm sure not all of us are going to be at full strength even as early as uh, you know next weekend but we'll get a taste of what it's like and it's always a, a tremendous um, 
opportunity to see how you how you play out against a team that's been on the top of the podium. So we're excited about it. All right, Beth Elford-Sullivan, we will see you next weekend. Sounds good.